Our group believes that Ana Garcia died to her, due to her arteries being blocked in and around the heart from eating fatty, unhealthy foods that contained a lot of lipids. Sickle cell anemia is a disease Ana Garcia had. It made it a lot easier for her arteries to get blocked out due to the weird shape of her red blood cells. Blocked arteries in the heart is what we believe led to, to a heart attack that ended up taking Ana Garcia's life. Besides the fact that Ana Garcia had sickle cell disease, she also had type 1 diabetes. She also had familial hypercholesterolemia, which could have been re regarding factors that could have led to Ana Garcia's death. Familial hypercholesterolemia is a genetic disorder that is caused in a defect in chromosome 19. This defect causes the body to be unable to remove low density lo lipoproteins, which result in high cholesterol. This results in high LDL levels in the blood. The lipoproteins cause blockage in the arteries. Type 1 diabetes is when your pancreas does not work, so this means that your body cannot produce insulin. Without insulin, your body cannot take sugar into the cells and it needs to go in, so you need insulin injections to eat anything with sugar. With high levels of glucose, your kidneys can get worn out and then not filter blood as well. Cold cell disease is when some of your red blood cells are deformed into weird shapes. This causes your arteries to be blocked that can lead to problems in the cardiovascular system due to the arteries being blocked, which can cause a heart attack. All of these diseases are very dangerous if they are left untreated. Ana Garcia is a great example of someone who fucked up and could have done better with her body by treating it with treatment. Go. Major blockage was in her arteries due to her hypercholesterol anemia. There are many different types of treatments Anna could have had had to clear her arteries from whatever was blocking them. Uh, this is a minute break. Uh, add your boy on Snapchat. Thank you guys. One treatment that Anna could have had to unblock her arteries would have been an angioplasty. An angioplasty is a treatment used for a person with blocked arteries. Anna's doctor could have inserted a small tube into Anna's blood vessels to the point of blockage and then push a button that inflates a balloon that pushes all the plaque to the sides of the arteries. Yeah. Anna could have also had a stent place. The stent is a small mesh tube used most of the time to open up narrowed arteries to increase blood flow in the arteries. This would have been perfect for many different spots in Anna's body that she most likely had blockages. For Anna's diabetes, she could have exercised and could have ate healthier foods. Exercising could have kept her body healthier overall and she would have been able to eat more healthy foods. If Are you recording? Yes, Rolling. please. Okay. If Anna had a healthier diet, she would have ha had. If Anna had a healthier diet, she would have not had as many problems as she did with her insulin and glucose. Her medical history shows that there were many different times when Anna had problems with eating unhealthy, and the day before she died was one of them. Sounds good. That's what all of our evidence is leading to. <laughs> I'm relieved to know that it is not because of a murder, because to be honest, that is what it looks like in the beginning. We've found out to now not just base our thinking off what something looks like and how much work really goes into a case like Honest. Read it. Uh, I know how to read say? it. What do you guys say? Yeah. No, months. not at the same time. Okay, like, sounds good. If Anna had a... Boom. Oh. It's just instant karma. Or not it's instant last, karma. It's, it's instant. By treating it with treatment. Because cause I'm gonna be like... Type 1 diabetes. Hurry up. Type 1 diabetes is... Dude. Uh, just our base of thinking of something. What the fuck? We found what? out not... I'm too tough for this. It's good. <laughs> oh no. Yo. Um. It's been a good year with you guys. Oh, like... Every time I think about the last day of school, it makes me tear up. So like, it's been a good run, and I'll see you guys next year, guys. Alright, peace out.